when I first became worshipful, I had a lot of other indoor ideas. But seeming the cold vent, I had to change gears and try to do everything outdoors. It's hard to get back into a community that doesn't know that you exist. So my goal was to get us back into the community. But now that we're getting out and getting to visit other people and, you know, people come up to me, oh, I know that symbol. You're a Mason. I was sitting around and my wife had a bunch of Easter eggs sitting there. And I said, what the heck? I said, why don't we do something on the bike path in July? So Easter in July, that was what it was called. So we went and I had brothers help me and we dispersed over 2,380 eggs between the high school and the park, which was only a short quarter mile walk, but the families loved it. It was a, a very good event to get the kids back outside and keep social distancing. My goal is this year is to get as much out into the community as I can. I have the paper on speed dial and any event I do with the police and the fire department, I always bring them into it. There was uh, seven people involved with, and there was only two of us stuffing 2,380 eggs. I don't ever want to see an Easter egg for quite a while. I stuffed them with little toys and candy and then a uh, Dollar Tree that's up here, which my wife works at and she's the manager. They donated a big part of it. And we had about nine guys. We rode the truck down the bike trail and I had two big dishwasher boxes filled with Easter eggs. And then we, have, we had them dispersed, at, you know, and as they ran out of eggs, they came up to the truck, got another bag and then we took that bag and started walking down the bike path on either side and we dispersed all the eggs. And then how, the many kids, how many kids were picking up the eggs? There must have been about 25, 30. It wasn't bad. And then with the fire department being there, they got to climb on the fire truck and they got to sit in the fire truck and the police department there, the police actually blocked off the road and the fire department and the police department, they honked their horns and everybody just did a social walk, keeping their distance. And they were just picking up the eggs as they went along. The kids had a great time. The smiles on their faces. And I said, well, yeah, after they did that walk, now they get to eat the candy and you sugar them up and they're just getting sent home. I'm very proud of my brothers for helping me out. And I'm very proud that the community is starting to notice us. Hey, thanks for taking the time with us today. Was it, was it painless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>